Hi guys, welcome to Simply Scuba. So buying your very first wetsuit can be a bit of a minefield because there are so many out there on the market. But what's the difference between all of them? In this video, we're gonna be taking a close look at wetsuits. Okay, so first up we have a rash vest. So a rash vest is basically a stretchy t-shirt uh, that you wear and these are particularly good for tropical waters where you don't really need any kind of exposure protection because the water is nice and warm. But what this does is gonna protect you from the sun, especially if you're snoring Clang. You're on the uh, you're on the surface. The water's cooling your back. You don't realise that the sun's just bearing down on you. So it's very common to get sunburn uh, whilst you're snorkeling. So this is going to protect you. Um, this one is UPF 80, so uh, it's a really high UPF factor. Um, and uh, they also work to protect you from marine bumps and scrapes. So um, you, this is a short sleeve version, obviously you can get long sleeved um, and they're gonna protect you, especially with uh, anemones and certain types of jellyfish. They can actually prevent you from getting stung uh, because the stingers physically can't get through them. Uh, they're great to wear underneath a wetsuit as well. Um, they're originally named rash vest because they protect your body uh, with the old style of neoprene. They would protect you from rashes that you'd get from the neoprene. Um, but they do make it a lot easier to put your, uh, your wetsuit on and take it off afterwards. Uh, so they're a great little accessory. They also come in full length body versions. Uh, so this, as I said earlier, full length is going to protect uh, all of your arms and your legs. Full body suit. They're particularly good for uh, yeah, those tropical waters where the water is warm. Uh, you don't need that thermal protection, but you do need a bit of protection from the sun or from sort of bumps and scrapes. Then we're going to move on to our first wetsuit. So this is a shorty. These are typically uh, two and a half or three millimeters thick. Uh, so the neoprene itself is about two and a half, three mils thick. And that works by trapping a layer of water over your body and, uh, and stopping it from moving. That's how wetsuits work. They let the water in, but they don't let it move around. Because it traps it against your skin, that water is slowly going to warm up and then it's going to keep you nice and warm. So what's particularly, um, uh, what you really need to focus on is that the uh, the sleeves are, uh, are fairly snug because that means that water won't flush in and flush out. Um, they're cut so that you basically want as minimal stitching as possible because wherever there are stitches, it, uh, it reduces the flexibility. So on a lot of modern wetsuits, you see big open panels, uh, especially under the arms as well, so you have that full range of motion. Shorties, three mils, uh, they're good for those warmer waters where it starts to get a little bit colder. Uh, the shorty gives you a, uh, they're, they're really quick and easy to put on uh, and they keep your core torso warm. Um, that's the most important. Uh, but when you start to get uh, slightly colder waters, it's worth getting up to a, a full length wetsuit. You can wear these under or over a, another wetsuit so you can bulk up and that just keeps your core body warm. Okay, moving on, we have a one mil wetsuit. So this is much like that full body uh, rash vest that we were looking at earlier, except this is made out of one millimeter neoprene. So that means that it's very, very flexible. Still protects you from the sun, protects you from bumps and scrapes, but it does have a little bit of thermal protection, unlike the rash vest. Uh, moving on, we also have a, uh, a wetsuit alternative. So, uh, so this is shark skin, but there are lots of different brands out there like, uh, like Fourth Elements Thermocline and you also have uh, LavaCore. This is for certain people who have an allergy to neoprene. So this is a three layer material that works in a similar way to neoprene um, by trapping the water, holding it against your skin, doesn't allow the wind to get through or the sun, but uh, it doesn't contain any uh, sort of neoprene or petroleum um, chemicals, so um, so it, 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 it's it's hypoallergenic. Uh, this uh, is typically equivalent to about a two or a three mil wetsuit. Um, so uh, again, tropical waters, not too cold. Uh, it's going to protect you from bumps and scrapes and a little bit of um, sort of cold, cold waters. Okay, then we're moving on to a thicker wetsuit. Uh, so we're going up to three mil. So a three mil is again. Uh, 
more of the sort of is, is for warm temperatures um, where um, you're going for longer dives or deeper dives just where you need a bit more thermal three millimeters thick but what you'll find as you start to get up to this kind of level is that they adjust the um, the thickness of the neoprene in different areas of the wetsuit so this for example is the Mars Flexor 322 uh, so you have three mil over your chest you have two millimeter sections um, just where you need that added flexibility, so in the arms and, uh, and around the knees. So um, if you start to see multiple um, sort of thicknesses, that's what that's there for. It keeps you warm where it needs to, but it keeps you flexible where you need to. Uh, three mil, yeah, great again for those tropical waters, but in the sort of winter months where it starts to get a little bit colder. Okay, the main workhorse of the, uh, the neoprene family is your 5mm wetsuit. Your 5mm is a great all-rounder. Uh, you can wear this in the UK in the summer months. You can wear this in sort of Egypt, uh, the Red Sea in the, uh, in the winter months, uh, depending on how long the, uh, the dive is. But your 5mm is your, uh, your general all-rounder. You can bulk it up by wearing your shorty underneath it to keep your core nice and warm, uh, but 5mm is very, very effective at keeping you nice and warm. So most people tend to go for a five mil and then a shorty. Uh, and then if they decide to go in really cold waters, then they bump it all the way up to a dry suit. But in between a, uh, a five mil and a dry suit, you do get seven mil and, uh, and seven mil semi-dries. So semi-dries are halfway between a wetsuit and a dry suit. Um, they, you will get wet inside, but they do have the same type of seal. So this is a dry zipper um, that you'd normally find on a dry suit. So water cannot go through it, but, um, but because that's fitted to a wetsuit, it slows the water down. So you stay dry as much as possible. But even if you do get wet inside of it, then it acts like a wetsuit and it keeps you warm. So these are for the colder months. If you're uh, particularly susceptible to the cold, if you feel the cold, then a seven mil is, uh, is really great. Uh, you can wear this in uh, the sort of the Red Sea sort of area in the winter time. And um, you can wear this all year round in the UK. Uh, it's a great sort of all rounder, uh, especially if you dive in, uh, in colder waters. Okay, so that was a quick look at the different types of wetsuit, but there's far more information on our website and all of these wetsuits are available there. Thanks for watching and safe diving.